are shocking unexpected messages coming on your way from your ex so this is going to come out of nowhere and i believe you are not waiting for this you are not even expecting this to happen um this person you might be in a no communication and you might be feeling like this relationship is over completely there is no hope and this person has moved on they are not coming back to you, you anymore but i'm sensing that this person is going through some kind of turbulence in their mind they're going through a lot of pain and they are not being able to hold on to this and they're going to come forward to you and asking for a second chance okay this is what i'm picking up on they want a new beginning with you they want uh, like a um, you know they are not being able to deal with the fact that you are no longer in their life the way they thought that it is going to work out without you um the breakup was really really very hard on them and this gonna this person is gonna come forward and it is gonna be a very unexpected way it can be a drunk text it can be a message in the middle of the nowhere like you know when you least expect it is not a regular time you will get it in a very irregular time i'm just getting this message might be in the late at night early in the morning something which you would never expect let us see what comes up um, what else this person wants to say but again it is a collective reading take what doesn't it leave what doesn't if you want to book a paid private reading you can email me at divine mother's guidance at gmail.com all right and i have only one account in tiktok divine mother's guidance with 128k plus followers and in instagram uh, divine mother's guidance with 3800 plus followers don't be scammed i will never follow you offer you a dm reading okay i will never do that on the scammers do that and my only youtube channel let's ask tell please subscribe to my youtube channel for longer videos all right so let us see i mean sometimes i put longer videos so let's see what this person wants to say family fertility parenthood pregnancy okay this fam this person might be married this person might have some family with somebody else or maybe they prioritize their family or also this can be a news that there is somebody around your energy there is a child involved in this connection what due to which this can be um, this situation happened all right it can be also their parents are some factors because one card can represent a multiple thing depending on the collective i'm picking up the energy for so it can be also their parents are the factor who actually they had to uh, consider before coming towards you maybe something related to some child or some parents this fight happened okay or maybe some family members were involved memories remembering dwelling bittersweet so this person is now all reliving those memories that you had together and they are feeling pretty lost because you know what happened after the breakup couple of time people go process the anger and everything and after that when this anger is over people start feeling those good things and good memories comes up and that's the time they really miss you and this is what happening with this person at this moment clarity truth intentions and honesty with this reliving those memory this person is gaining this clarity of their mind that see this old camera here old photos i'm seeing that this person might be looking through your old photos and going through old memories and letters and writings and all those things that you have the messages um they are just reliving those moments and getting the clarity that yes they they cannot live without you it's such such a strong connection they have with you I know it's flipped but see this you can i think understand take a screenshot and you can read it and don't tell me to do this mirror and all those shit i can't do those shit deal with it okay second chance opportunities making amens return so this is what they are finding this is the clarity they have gained that they want a second chance i told you that they want a second chance with you they want a second chance they want to return and come back and fix everything that is broken this person cannot leave without you this is what i'm getting the message here for so they want to come back and gain you back okay influences attachment third parties and peers so there are third parties involved in this connection it can be mother father donkey monkey cycle michael i don't know whatever shit it can be there you know but this is not a romantic one okay i don't feel like this is a romantic third party so this connection this reading is for the people who do not have a romantic third party in the situation these people were influenced by other people who were like listening to other people probably prioritize other people but now they realizing that that is not working with them anymore okay so this is very strong connection i'm just feeling like this person is going to message you uh, rejection abandoned dismissed in um, irrational fear so they might have dismissed you they might have pushed you away from them um, they might have rejected you abandoned you i believe this person specifically a very typical avoidant attachment style so they when you come too close to them or it's like a, it's a time for give you some kind of commitment they will run away and just get scared okay so this is completely a person who is 
they want attachment they want love but when it comes too close they freak out and they've run away so this person might have gone through many hot, hot and cold i think this is not a first time you are going through this it feels like you have gone through this kind of shit show many times they left you oh this is over and then again they come back so this is exactly that going on so you know deep inside this person is going to come back soulmates deep love unity and connection this might be your soulmate see you know what is a soulmate it's like you feel like the connection that when you made them for the first time it's like a magnetic connection i can't deny that it's like a even though it is like a, my belief system doesn't accept it but i feel drawn to this person just like a strong magnet they are something which the way i love them the way i felt for them i never felt for anybody else in my life so this is the connection that you might have felt with them um so yeah deep love they you guys love each other but you mess it up you both are very childish i'm picking up on conflict okay uh chasing uh clan sorry clashing differences incompatibility conflict you might have a lot of conflicts within yourself you might fight on small silly things but again you come back together because the connection is so strong i'm feeling like both two very immature childish people they might be very mature in their world but when it's rums of connection two kids are fighting together that's why i'm fighting with this connection so i believe this is going to be okay it'll be fine sorry i had to stop so apology the last second card came up forgiveness return sorry so again this card is saying the same thing that this person is going to come back to you and they say sorry or you know this is some kind of apology they were going to coming forward with it might not be directly apology because you know your person they might i don't feel like this person is going to say i'm sorry but they are trying to make it in a round and round directly rather than saying apology but they are going to make it to work that's what i'm feeling the um connection uh, connection here I said that. I said that. So confirmation. They want a reconciliation, making amends, opportunities, and second chance. They want a second chance with you. And this is come hopeless. They are feeling hopeless without you. And bottom of the deck, what it says: time. Okay, a waiting cycle. Cycles confirmation moments so it, this can be that you go through this kind of cycle with them again and again again and again again and again so this is a confirmation without this they run away from you they fight with you run away and again they come back so this is the cycle here so this person is feeling pretty hopeless without you and they want to come back and have a second chance but you know what as you know your daddy even i'm gonna give you some lecture here so if you're going through this kind of shit show what it sounds familiar to you remember that the only way to get out of this kind of cycle is love yourself and be emotionally independent because when this person runs away you wait for them you give them the energy you feel devastated you feel every time oh this is the end of the story and then you start freaking out you reach out or you constantly send your energy to them this is the reason this person gets the validation so these avoidant people they get the validation from your um neediness clinginess that oh that makes sense that means this person loves me so every time they do that the way is like they want to seek the validation from you whether you run behind them or not whether you feel distressed or not whether you crying or not if you if they see you you are not crying you are not sad they feel oh my gosh that means i don't matter in their life anymore so that doesn't give them the validation so want validation and that's a kind of a loop and that their craziness like they want always you to validate by crying and feeling distressed stop doing that so what you going to do at this moment you going to love yourself focus on yourself deal your, with your life and completely be self obsessed what you when you do this this person doesn't see you running behind them anymore and that's the time they stop running so if you want this runner to stop running you need to stop chasing and focus within yourself loving yourself putting yourself back that okay these things i'm not going to entertain you do whatever shit you do we do i don't care anymore so when they see that they are running it's not impacting you they will stop running all right so remember that this is all i i would leave you with so take care of yourself love love yourself self love is the key take care bye